Hello, good day everyone. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to organize your Google Classroom into uh, neat and uh, organized. How to organize your Google Classroom for your classes. Okay, so uh, if uh, if you are new to this channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be uh, notified for more, for my uh, videos, updates, and tutorials. Okay, so let's proceed. So what we're going to do now is uh, let's go to. Uh, say let's go to your to our Google classroom so in my case I'll let's uh, let's, uh, let's log in Google classroom okay and then there then uh, I have uh, two accounts here so I'll gonna use my accounts for my modular chemistry class yeah general chemistry modular general chemistry so uh, let, to organize your uh, your topics or your activities in Google classroom you, ha you just have to go to the classwork and then this is the, an example of how how I organize my my uh, subject in chemistry this is uh, arranged according to weeks and then uh, within a week uh, into days you know, depending on uh, how many days you are in a week how many classes in a week you are having okay so we have here for example uh, week six five four two one so this arrange in uh, descending order so so that uh, in the learners dash dashboard it will appear the latest week latest lessons topics for the latest week okay so uh, it's suggested that you're going to arrange this way also so how to do this no first you have to click create and then uh, set topic say uh, we are in our second uh, term now so I'm, ge I'm gonna use uh, as, uh, let's just say week 8 in our topic so our week 8 will be uh, because we have a break so it will not be uh, next week oh no after August 17 October 17 but uh, November November uh, what's the date now 16 so uh, November 16 I uh, say next week okay so November uh, 21 22 23 23 24 25 26 27 yeah okay week 8 November 23 to 7 okay then click add and then you will have this uh, week 8 November 23 to 27 now in, uh, in order to put the uh, sub your uh, this is your main uh, topic but uh, this is a uh, this is set for one week so you're going to add uh, daily activities or daily work of your students so let's add let's just say uh, material first say lesson um, one okay then uh, let's just post it okay so you, 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 this uh, 
edited like this it will appear as lesson 1 so let's edit this again let's put this day 1 uh, 11 that's November 23 okay so we will add uh, content later let's uh, organize this first into days and then and again and again create another so uh, after you have given the material uh, you of course uh, we can uh, give them assignment already so activity activity one for example okay so uh, no okay so uh, let's edit first one okay so activity one so that's that's not how we do it let's put this up day two and and then uh, 11 24 November 24 okay so we have two days already let's have uh, again our, our class is good for four days so let's have uh, again another assignment uh, activity um, oh no day three then eleven twenty five okay and uh, our again uh, so let's edit this first our week is only good for four days a week our class is only good for four days class and a week so this is 23 24 26 okay yeah okay and we still lack one so let's create again another assignment or let's just say after three activities two activities and one material let's have a quiz assignment so this is going to be our day 4 and uh, 11 20 is that correct? 26 let's just say let's check it no, okay, so 20, okay so we have 4 days in a week class this is week week number eight november 23 to 26 so uh, again uh, after creating a topic which will be set for weeks let's add uh, daily schedule daily activities for the student in a week so we have already crafted four days uh, activity so let's arrange this one so what you're what we're going to do is uh we're going to arrange this by day one day two okay so you just have to drag and drop day three and uh, day four okay so that is uh, how it will appear if it is arranged in week and then subdivided into days so uh, okay so it's just uh, again yeah, day one two three four so if this is your arrangement it's easy for the students to track on the daily activities because uh, you have set uh, uh, in a day particular specific activity or uh, work sh the learner has to be done okay has to uh, the learner has to do okay so that is how you're going to arrange the mm, Google Classroom organized in in a week and daily basis. Okay. So if you want to add uh, additional aesthetics, you just have to go to emoji copy. Okay so so that you can so that it will be aesthetically uh, appealing to the learners 
So, we can uh, say numbers for the dates, no? Okay, so let's have one, copy, and then uh, paste it in the day one. Okay, then again, go back to uh, two, copy, and then paste it again on the just paste it, no copy paste. And yeah, day two. And next. Uh, three. Okay. And next. Four. and save okay so we have there day one two three and four just to make it visually appealing and you can also add highlights on the week so, so uh, last time we used that uh, we were using the green button green icon Okay, so just again paste and then rename. Okay, so that is how uh, to organize your classwork into week and days, descending order. Okay, if you have comments, suggestions as to how you're going to organize Google Classroom in uh, online classes feel free to comment guys and leave a like and subscribe if you want please do support our channel goodbye class